Hello guys, today I was going to share with you this uh, project what I made last week. That's a bottle. Uh, it's an altar bottle and uh, it's in the form of a house. So that was just like this bottle before. I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. I'm not drinking myself uh, luckily but I have friends who do. So they collect these bottles for me. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, what I do first, I gonna cover it with gesso, and uh, uh, then this this acrylic uh, paint, and then I gonna use the Crafters Workshop uh, brick uh, stencil. But it's later on. First, let's get to gesso in a bottle. Close the lid very firm, tightly, so that it wouldn't come out. And just start putting it just on. It's very simple. Anybody can do that. And you might need a few coats of it. We're doing it for the base that um, the acrylic paint would stick to the bottle otherwise if you don't do that uh, the acrylic paint which is not stick to the bottle okay the second coat is ready so we're gonna have to wait before I put the third coat of it and that's really good acrylic gesso um, you can buy it at Michael's or any craft store it's pretty cheap it says 16 ounces per for five dollars. It's very good. I love that. I think two layers of gesso should be enough. So I'm going to the acrylic paint. Pull in and here. And do the same thing. For the next step of our project, we're gonna need stucco paint. It's uh, Martha Stewart's um, product, uh, but also we could use any texture paint. I mean texture paste, anything. I just do have right now, so I'm gonna use that. We're gonna use a spatula and a stencil. It could be either homemade stencil or uh, whatever you can get on the market and also we have to use this a little bit of this transparent tape so I can put it on the side and then place the stencil about the level you wanted to you wanted it to be let's say I want I want to have my roof from a here to up to the end so we're gonna get a piece of tape and stick it to the uh, stem cell a way that it would stay in there and then you get a little bit of stucco paint or any other texture paint texture paste and start slowly, gradually place it in there, but not up on the line uh, where you want it to be uh, the roof. So just like so. You 
you could do one brick at a time you could do many of them just as long as it stays there We do it just for this nice chunky effect because if we would just put a paint in it it wouldn't be looking that material but with that uh, uh, chunky stuck of paint or texture paste it's gonna look very chunky so I think one part is done well the main thing is drying out um, so this, this is almost dry. This is wet. Um, I'm gonna uh, pick the door. So it's my Rhodes door. They're very adorable. They're coming out like this and they come in all kinds of shapes. And this is Tim Holtz little tiny miniature doorknobs. So first taking a look through them and see which one I like better. So that that was the one we already had. This more like in between the room door. These are the same. They are all very cool. It's hard to pick one. They're just adorable. Um, maybe this one just for the difference okay the thing is I had to cut the door shorter because it doesn't work in the full length it's coming up way too tall so I have to see I, th I have to find the door what I can actually cut about that tall I went ahead and uh, put stencil on another third wall, so now it's all uh, all three walls uh, covered, and this uh, bottom part too. I need a second coat of it, just a little bit too white, too transparent. I'm using this nice acrylic paint, very wonderful paint, $5.99 for this big huge container and also if you use a coupon it could be like three dollars, good for furniture, walls, wood, canvas, good for everything, amazing paint. Next I'm going to use, it's going to be this coral paint, Craft Smart. This is from Michaels, it's very nice uh, acrylic paint and it's also very cheap. So where do I put it? Somewhere, it's around the same color. I, I did this uh, house as a, a beige kind of yellowish color. And this time I want to try coral, just a different shade, but very thin. Okay, let's start here.
everything coral looks great. While the camera was off, I cut out the down part of this door and I attached this door knob. This is amazing little detail. It came from uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, this parts, door knobs, or however he calls it. That's a really wonderful thing. I'm gonna save it for later for maybe making a window or some door for a tiny little house. And uh, it's about time to put the first coat of paint on it because this color is complicated. The roof color, it's maybe uh, uh, three or four paints. Uh, you need to cover the roof. So the first one would be that Wayne acrylic paint it came from Michaels. Here, and just a little bit. Your score can go anyhow, it doesn't really matter, it's just like for the color to see through. The next, the next color we're going to use, it's going to be uh, uh, the mixture of this flesh uh, acrylic paint and uh, the other one is uh, orange. So I was going to use it on the uh, uh, bricks to add this like slight shadowy tone in here. And I can just get a little bit of that, get a little of this and just mix them together. Because this orange is really really big really orange. And oh shit. It's not really dry all the way. It's Okay. While my bottle is drying out, I went ahead and I picked these windows and I glued together these um, shutters. I decided to go with uh, long, big windows this time to see how that will look. You see, compared to this, uh, they are like a little smaller. And I will also try to do just one on the wall. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and paint them. Uh, I want to paint them like dark blue this time. I found this little piece of transparency what I made for this die cut, but I never used it. And it's too big to use on that project. So I was going to just, uh, next thing I'm going to do is cut this... Um, transparency to the size of the windows. I glued this uh, transparency to the back of the uh, windows, cut windows, with this Eileen glue, Eileen Tucky glue. That's all purpose glue. It's really awesome product. And uh, that's gonna be like that on the bottle. And I'm gonna glue it together with E6000. Uh, including the door but before I'm doing this I'm gonna make this uh, color I'm gonna paint this roof and it's a long process that's why I'm not gonna do it on the video but I'll show to you how it came out the house is almost ready uh, you can compare both of them I think it came out really good this time so that's the door part. The only di difference the first house is um, uh, it's covered with a uh, thick bash, but the second one it's not, and the roof is slightly different shade. So the doors with the doorknobs, the windows is like. It's a bigger window and just one instead of two and no green. 
I was thinking to add the tree to the in front of the house. Uh, maybe like that. Maybe just on one side. But I gotta think about it for a little while. Yeah, it does look good. I lit a tree. So here is the other side. It's exactly the same, like a first window. I think the trash looks really good in there too. Okay, that's very material. You just kind of want to touch it and it's very thick and really nice souvenir overall. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. The house is almost ready. Uh, you can compare both of them. I think it came out really good this time. So that's the door part. The only di difference the first house is um, uh, it's covered with a thick bush, but the second one it's not, and the roof is slightly different shade. So the doors with the doorknobs, the windows is like it's a bigger window and just one instead of two, and no green. I was thinking to add the tree. To the in front of the house uh, maybe like that maybe just on one side but I gotta think about it for a little while yeah it does look good I lit a tree so here is the other side it's exactly the same like a first window I think the trash looks really good in there too okay that very material you just kind of want to touch it and it's very thick and really nice souvenir overall okay thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye